Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to take a look around to help you get more familiar with where things are located. Then we're going to create our first space. Now, at the top of the page, you'll have the search, username with a drop down, and then the create space button. And then next, you'll see here the easy to click filter for my recent, examples, favorites, and shared with you. Now, we don't have any spaces yet but this will serve you well in the future once you start to create multiple spaces and link up with others. Now, since we don't have any spaces yet, here you'll see a large create your space section. Now, to the right of it, depending on what you chose as your more general focus, there's a message to reach out to the spatial teams for more info on either your business, your training, branding, or your educational content. If you scroll down, you'll see some examples cater to your focus that you can check out to help you get inspired. And of course, once you have marked other spaces as your favorites, and if some of them are shared with you, they'll show up here. And lastly, the Discover More button will take you to a page showing you a host of spaces for you to jump into and also be inspired by. Now, to get back to the main page, go ahead and simply click on the spatial logo here. Here at the top of the page, if you click on your username, you'll see a drop down showing a list of options from team management to logging out. Now, we won't dive into each one of these just yet, but I wanted to make sure that you knew that it was there. Now, also, if we click on the search bar, there is a nice quick way for you to search spaces by name and see our other recommendations. But for now, let's create your first space. So let's click on the spatial logo again to get back to the main page. All right, so great. So now you can either click on the top right button where it says new space, or since we'd have no spaces, there's this big section here you can click as well. Once you click, you should see a new window showing you a host of options to start with. These are our templates. Spatial has two ways to create spaces. You have the no code, and then you have the Unity SDK Creator Toolkit. For now, we're gonna focus on the no-code method. No-code is great for beginners looking to get started with drag and drop elements. There are a lot to choose from, but I think I would like to choose the blank space to keep it pretty simple. Once in the space, you'll see your avatar. However, you're probably thinking you would like to change it, but we'll definitely get to that soon, so don't worry. Once you see your avatar standing in a space, guess what? You've created your space in Spatial. Yes, there's a lot more you can do, but let's take it one step at a time. In the next video, we're gonna cover navigating the space, moving around a bit, changing the environment, and then adding content.